If you hate it when we get into other people's business, we do not care. Because we know you're going to stick around for this one anyway. So while you're here, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of banana pudding popcorn, teriyaki beef jerky, and green apple licorice. Chloe Bailey has been singing alongside her sister Hallie since they were adolescents. They learned how to write and produce their own songs and play their own instruments. From the start, their mom, Courtney, didn't intend for them to be involved in show business. Their mom told The Cut website, For me, it was about building a foundation of confidence, public speaking, knowing how to meet people, to read scripts and rehearse, and if they got the gig, even better. In 2003, Chloe snagged her first gig as the little girl version of Beyonce's character in the film Fighting Temptations. And in 2006, she landed a role in the film Last Holiday. The following year, there was some major drama in the Bailey residence. In September 2007, their father Doug was accused of putting his hands on their mom numerous times. He was eventually locked up and charged with two counts of family violence battery, simple battery, cruelty to children in the third degree, and disorderly conduct. The disorderly conduct charge was added because he allegedly acted in a tumultuous manner after placing his wife in, quote, reasonable fear of her life, limb, or health. According to court documents, his criminal case was put on hold for nine months so he could complete a domestic intervention program. Additionally, he was ordered to have no contact with their mother. Upon completion of the domestic program, the charges against him were dismissed. The family got past the incident and eventually moved to Los Angeles so the sisters could pursue careers in the entertainment industry. At the age of 13, Chloe got permission from her parents to post their cover of Beyonce's song, Best Thing I Never Had, to their YouTube channel, and the video would change their lives forever. Their dad quit his job so he could manage their careers full time. He served as their protector and turned down multiple offers on their behalf when record companies were trying to lowball them or ask them to change their hair. They appeared on The Ellen Show and won Radio Disney's Next Big Thing. And then in 2013, their cover of Beyonce's song, Pretty Hurts, caught the Queen's attention. Chloe and Hallie signed to Beyonce's Parkwood Entertainment in 2015 for a reported $1 million deal for six albums. As of this video, they've released two albums, earned several Grammy nominations, and they've even crossed over into the world of acting. From a very young age, Chloe struggled with her self-esteem. During an appearance on Peace of Mind with Taraji, she said that being curvy as a little girl was one of her biggest insecurities. During a 2016 interview with The Cut website, the journalist noted that Chloe's childhood bedroom was covered with about 40 index cards that had phrases like, Be grateful, don't let the world dim your light, and trust your gut. She was homeschooled for high school and earned her GED after completing the 10th grade. At the age of 17, she was still heavily dependent on her parents and didn't bother getting her driver's license because she was scared of getting behind the wheel. Despite finishing school early, the educational lessons didn't stop. Their dad allowed Chloe and Hallie to conduct their own conference calls and business meetings. He told the Cut website, I tell them, girls, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to sit here and I'm your crutch if you need it, but I want you to lead because you need to learn how to conduct your business this way. Don't know what's in my future. Oh my goodness, this is nothing but anointing. Oh they define themselves as being gospel raised, and at the start of their career, Chloe never cursed and also made sure to say a quick prayer before every meal. But something changed as she got a bit older. She gravitated towards New Age spirituality after being given a copy of the book, The Secret. The law of attraction is one law. There are many laws working in the world. But it is very true that the way you think creates reality for yourself. She told Nylon Magazine that after reading the book, her entire mindset changed and faith and meditation became her foundation. At the start of their career, Chloe and Hallie were frequently described as being cute, tasteful, and age-appropriate. But the public's opinion about Chloe quickly went left in January 2021 when the sisters announced their solo social media profiles. 
A few days after their announcement, Chloe joined the internet's Buss It Challenge. Her video went viral and she racked up a million followers. The world realized that Chloe wasn't a little girl anymore. She followed that video with another video of herself saging her bedroom and dancing around in her drawers. You know, we live in a culture where it's driven by sex, sex sells. And I, I think these young girls, they see that. They see the attention that these other women are getting from putting themselves out there in a sexual manner. I just think it, it attracts the wrong type of attention. I don't think Chloe's doing nothing different outside of, baby, I look good. I'm participating in the challenges like everybody else. And I look good while doing it. Uh, so out. what? The golden rule is in order to succeed, especially in the entertainment industry, is that women have to be jealous of you and men have to want you. Chloe is showing a little bit more because, and that's helping her brand. During a February 2021 Instagram Live session, Chloe had a hard time grasping why people were annoyed by her online antics. To my 4 million followers and counting, my candy kisses and my clovers. Thank you all so much for loving me, and I love you right on back. There's a lot more to come. She was convinced she wasn't doing anything wrong, and all she wanted to do was spread some positive vibes to all of her fans. During that same February 2021 Instagram Live session, she discussed her body image issues. She revealed that when she was younger, she thought she was fat, and she hated her stretch marks and cellulite. It has taken me a lot to appreciate myself and my body. There's been so many times where I felt I wasn't pretty enough, where I just, I have a lot of issues with my weight. And I've been like really insecure for a long time. And I'm finally like at that place where I have self-confidence. In the end, she took the backlash in stride and was actually surprised by all the attention she received because she never saw herself as sexy or attractive. Since then, Chloe has continued to push the envelope with her risque content, like her sexy interpretation of Minnie Riperton's song, Loving You. And over time, people went from singing her praises to bashing her for her hypersexualized content. Although she puts on a brave face in public, the criticism has taken a toll on her. This brings us to present day Chloe, the grown woman that is embracing her grown woman assets, and not everyone is happy about it. Chloe told Harper's Bazaar that much of the outrage is due to people still seeing her and her sister as 10 year old little girls. It has been difficult for her to make the transition from being a girl to a woman in front of the public eye. Some of the harsh comments she sees online are, I want the old Chloe back, LOL. She looks like an adult film star. Some might say these comments come with the territory of being a public figure, but during her chat on Peace of Mind with Taraji, Chloe admitted the negative feedback affects her. She added, What hurt me the most was when I would see some posts saying how I'm doing this for male attention or I'm just trying to sell sex to get attention for myself. She finds that embracing her body is a form of self-love, and when the backlash gets the best of her, she just closes her eyes and prays. Other times, she takes to her Instagram Live to release her emotions. By the time her debut solo single, Have Mercy, was released in September 2021, Chloe told Refinery29 website that she was in a complicated era of her life. She said she was battling anxiety and imposter syndrome. For those who are unaware, imposter syndrome is described as an internal psychological experience of feeling like a phony in some area of your life, despite any success that you have achieved in that area. Making music proved to be the cure, and she was trying to focus on the positive social media comments to drown out all the negativity. However, she still couldn't ignore the criticism about her body. Although the song and music video for Have Mercy promoted body positivity, Chloe admitted she was still trying to reach that level of confidence and self-acceptance in her own life. She told Refinery29 website that the journey of learning to love her body had its highs and lows. Some days she looks in the mirror and loves what she sees, and other days, not so much. By this point, she had developed a new mantra to get her through those moments of doubt. She would repeat to herself, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. 
After revealing that musicians don't make a lot of money in the music industry, no one was surprised when Chloe put her focus on snagging more acting roles. But what they didn't expect was to see her getting her back blown out by Damson Idris within the first few minutes of the Amazon Prime video series Swarm. Online users begged Chloe to get a mentor, while others told her she needed to be more selective if she wanted to be taken seriously in the acting world. During an interview with Deadline, Chloe said she was scared of shooting the intimate moment, but Damson helped her get through it. She added, As open and liberal as I am about my body, I was very scared because I haven't had that many partners. She said they had a bouncy ball between them during the scene, and they were making quite a joke out of it, which lightened the mood. She gave kudos to Damson for making her, quote, feel comfortable literally being raw and naked. With the direction she's taking in her career, including her provocative dance moves and her tendency to curse in her music, many people aren't surprised that Chloe has distanced herself from her religious parents. During an Instagram Live session, she confirmed their relationship was strained, and she added she might share more details at a later time. Thankfully, she has her godmother by her side, whom Chloe describes as being the light in her life. She added that her godmother is her support system when she feels like she's self-destructing on the inside. In February 2023, Chloe received a new batch of criticism when she teamed up with Chris Brown for the song, How Does It Feel? Although Chris has collaborated with countless artists and has received public support from various women in the industry following his incident with Rihanna, journalist Ernest Owens tweeted, We're failing black women in music if they feel like they have to collaborate with a known abuser in order to chart. It seems like no matter what she does, Chloe just can't seem to catch a break. As of this video, she's gearing up for the release of her debut solo album. She'll also be headlining her own tour. She told Hello Beautiful she's still on her self-love journey and she's learning to appreciate herself more. However, things aren't always easy for her. She said, It's easier for me to call someone else beautiful than it is for me to look in the mirror and tell myself. As much as people love to bash Chloe, she still has a million more followers than her sister, Hallie, who's a bit more low-key and demure. So if people are so outraged by Chloe's behavior, why do they keep following her on social media? A writer for Teen Vogue summed things up quite nicely. This indicates that people today demand black female singers and rappers to be hypersexual, drama-inducing, and messy for their own amusement. They may not actually support those artists monetarily, but they certainly won't pay attention to a singer otherwise.